If one were to travel from the capital city Phnom Penh to the provincial city Siem Reap on National Road 6, if observed carefully, one will see many ancient monuments along the way. In Kampong Thom Province, the 7th century temple, Grop or Sambo Prai Kok, is waiting patiently for tourist visit. And in Siem Reap Province, the ancient 12th century Bantik Dai Bridge is also waiting calmly for visitors to cross. About 15 km prior to the arrival in Simrip city, tourists can visit the many ancient temples in the Rulu's area in the district of Prasad Bakong. According to researchers, this area was former capital of the kingdom in the early Hungarian period, originally named Hetri Heralaya. Hetri Heralaya, an area already packed with many temples since before the Hungarian period, remained the capital until the reign of many later kings. Today, the ancient temple within this zone that receive a large number of tourists are the Temple of Preko, the Temple of Bakong, and the Temple of Rolai. Preko Temple is a Hindu monastery constructed in the late 9th century AD or specifically in 879 AD. Its founder was King Indravaraman I, in which he dedicated this monument to Lord Siva and to the merit of the ancestor. Considered to be a brick temple, Preko has unique feature which distinguishes itself from other temples of its time. Generally, when it comes to structure dedicated to religion, Brick construction date back to even before the Hungarian period. Though small detail, the most interesting aspect is the gorgeous sculpture and technique used in working with mortar. There are still a lot of appealing mortar sculpture on the wall that still survive all those centuries until the present day. If we were to compare the mortar technique of Preko Temple, to other temples in which the technique are similar, it is very hard to find Mota sculpture as beautiful as the one at Preko itself. Through a lot of observation due to skilled handcraft work of the builder, experts believe that the artists of Preko were experienced. The sculpture exhibit a great amount of physical depth intruding into the wall and their masonry demonstration a lively look of human, animal, and abracu. They are so vivid as if they appear in actuality. According to the different analyses, many researchers believe that some sculpture features are influenced by Javanese art, such as the image of Rahu curved with mortar on those walls. The use of mortar in Preko Temple is found to be quite thick. In addition, according to the detail of the sculpture on the mortar, it can be concluded that it may be curved when the mortar was still wet. As for the quality of the sandstone used as the main door pillar in D6 Tower, there are also high quality stone. Until now, the rock here have not been tarnished by the weather which make those stone as bright as they were during their time. Overall Structure and Design The architecture here is a structure with six main towers and various subordinate buildings. These six towers were separately built in two rows on a flat terrain. According to the inscription on the doorpost of these towers, the three front towers were representing male ancestor and the other three towers at the back representing the female ancestor. The construction may have followed the hierarchical structure because of the various size, length and height of the tower. The location of some tower is a little bit far apart and some other were very close. For all the building components, they are also used of different raw material. If we were to take a look at the three fourths door of each of the tower in the back row, we can see that mortar was used only for decoration, 
which is different from the false door of the three front tower since they were instead made out of sandstone. For tourists to understand the technique of decorating the sculpture embedded in the wall, this sculpture has a protruding shape which fit right into the intruding shape of the wall, supported by a type of brick hook from behind. The construction of Preco Temple also leads some researchers to conclude that after the reign of King Indraboraman, this building design has almost become a tradition practiced by many ongoing kings in the Angorian period. Such a conclusion was a result of researcher observation that later kings seemed to always follow his procedure. Traditionally, a king must first build a temple as merit to the ancestor before he can start building his temple for personal worship. In this regard, as evident, during the reign of King Indraboraman, he first constructed the Preko Temple, later erected Bagong Temple nearby for himself. According to the researcher explanation and based on the inscription of Preko Temple, the purpose of the construction is dedication to the king, the founder of Ongo civilization, King Jayavaraman II, including his parents as well as his ancestral lineage. Therefore, the original name of this temple of Preko is also linked to the posthumous name of King Jayavaraman II as Marombesvara. Such worship was based on the belief that the ancestor to whom the merit was sent would be happy in the place of the deity. For this reason, in the Hungarian period, ancestral statues were often honorably curved in the form of various deities. The current name, Preko Temple, or the Temple of the Cow God, probably refer to the three cow statue in front of the temple. In the Ongo era at that time, the temple dedicated to Siva always had cow sculpture in front of it. Because of the Brahmin religion, Nandi, the mythical cow, is Shiva's personal vehicle.